I had a piece of this large 20 millimeter by 20 millimeter extrusion. It's all aluminum. And I thought, I wonder if you can print this in plastic. It's Film of Friday. Let's try it. So I went to Thingiverse and user Beverage Expert had already uploaded a 2020 extrusion STL file. So I could use that. Then I went to Tinkercad and I actually designed some 90 degree brackets to connect my pieces. We'll see how those turn out. So I loaded four of those extrusion files into XYZWare. I set it to a 0.2 layer height, 20% fill, and it said it was going to take 11 hours and 38 minutes and 48 meters. Wow, that's a long time. And that doesn't even include the brackets. The brackets took another three hours. So then I went to my repetir machine. I loaded the file and used the copy command to make three more copies. Then I loaded the bracket and did the same thing, so I had everything in one build plate. Then I set it to a 0.2 layer height and a 25% fill. Then I sliced it with Cura, and here was the results. Just under eight hours. A whole lot faster than I was getting out of the stock DaVinci. And this included both the extrusions and the brackets under eight hours. So significantly faster. So I sent the files to the printers and I let them go. And I tried to put a camera on each one, but for some reason the Repetir camera didn't work. So all I've got is the two stock Da Vinci's. So here you go. So here's the results and it's a whole mess of parts now because the angle brackets came out pretty good but they definitely need a lot of cleanup. I think the tolerances that I used were just too tight. Normally I give like an extra millimeter between gaps and the way I did this I basically gave it a millimeter but on both sides so it ended up being only a half a millimeter tolerance gap and so they're too tight. So I had to really sand some of these down in order to get it together. I was able to get some brackets to go together, but in the process of trying to push these, I ended up breaking those extrusions. Now, this is the one, this is one that came off of the stock Da Vinci, and this is one that came off the Repetir. And the difference between them as far as size and dimension, really no different. So people have asked me, do does the Da Vinci stock print, you know, shrink things compared to the Repetir? And from what I can tell, they're almost identical. And also, they match the aluminum extrusion dimensions. So everything looks the same. So dimensionally, they're good. Um, the finish is where I really noticed the difference. There's a lot more ribbing on the stock Da Vinci versus the Repetir. These are a little smoother. Let me show you a close-up. The stock Da Vinci with XYZ wear is on the right. The Repetir with Cura is on the left. You can clearly see the difference in the surface. So after all that and all the breaking of pieces, I couldn't do what I really wanted to do. I wanted to make a nice box and see if, uh, see, just see how strong it is. So I'm going to have to do that at another time because it's just they, they broke too easily and these brackets I made on the Repetir machine and on the stock machine in both cases the dimensions were just too tight um, I really didn't see much difference in, in the the difference between these two the stock versus the, the uh, Repetir dimensionally these are all the same too so they just needed a lot more work so I gotta fix that file so what I was able to do is take a few good pieces and put this together. Now what it is is just a frame with the two angle brackets and three six inch pieces and then I cut a piece of plexiglass that slides right in the groove and fits in there. And then I figured eventually I could put you know another one on top of it and complete it. The idea here was I could now take this plexiglass piece, put it on my CNC and engrave a picture. 
and then put some LED lighting on the bottom here so when this is sitting still the light will shine up and we'll see the picture kind of glow. That's the idea behind it. So it wasn't a total waste of these pieces and they really work well when they're small. So if I have the aluminum extrusion, a little thing, and I want to just mount something on here, these fit nicely. So I think the key to these is to build things small. If you want big like this, you really got to be careful because they're, they're not going to hold up. But the little ones like this seem a lot stronger. I can, I can break it, but it's not as easy. See, the smaller it gets, the harder it is to break. So this one's about, I don't know, just about three inches, just under. So if you can live with something like this, you know, you can put a few of these along the, me the metal extrusion and then they're handy. So I think that's kind of the limit. As long as you stay within this size, they'll probably work fine. And the, the dimensions and the size here compared to the aluminum extrusion, aluminum extrusion um, I bet you can still use all the same bolts and stuff that we'd use to, to connect these. So I think that's the secret. Just make them smaller. I really enjoyed this print. This was a lot of fun because I really was curious how it would turn out and how it would size up to the aluminum extrusion. And it, it looks really, really good. So that opens up so many possibilities, not to replace an extrusion like this that's all metal, but to give me the option to now I can design custom little pieces that will still bolt to it. That's what I really wanted. You know, making a frame like this, there's probably better ways. Making a box out of these things, I know it's not going to be super strong. But to make something custom that fits onto this and just print it in plastic on my 3D printer, that's very, very handy. So this was a fun project. So I hope you guys liked it too. It's something you can print on just about any printer because the, the stock DaVinci's were able to do it. And of course my Repetier did it. And I'm sure just about any printer can do it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. And if you really want to support the channel, help buy some plastic for projects like this, just consider clicking on my Patreon account up here. Every little bit helps. Well, that's all I've got for now. I'll see you next time.